Hey guys, it's Peachy Tech here with another aesthetic PC build for y'all. Today, we're going for more of a cozy or cottagecore vibe. Here I have the brand new Fractal Design Terra case. This is a mini ITX case that they've just launched and this colorway is called Jade. It's so gorgeous. It has an aluminum body with a walnut front right here. And then it has like a little leather tab on the back, which is super cute. I love everything about this Fractal Design case. If you like the Fractal North, this is basically its little sister. The side panel is open and removed toollessly. All you have to do is pull the tab up and then there's a little button on the inside that you can push in to remove the door. Normally, cases come with a plastic bag for protection, but this one came with a cloth dust bag and I love that so much. The case also comes with all the screws you'll need, plus velcro straps, cable ties, and even a cleaning cloth. Before I can get into building, I'm removing these four protective orange tabs. These are just to keep things from shaking around during shipping, and once you remove them, you'll be able to adjust the space that you're giving either your GPU or your CPU cooler. Since this is such a small form factor case, you'll have to choose between giving your GPU room to breathe or your CPU, essentially. In terms of the other components, I'm going with the MSI B760 Mini ITX motherboard. This one is DDR5 and has Wi-Fi on board. For the CPU, I had the 13600K, but honestly, in this small of a form factor with the cooler I chose, you're probably better off with a 13500 or a non-K SKU CPU. That would also bring the cost down a little bit. I think with all the parts that I chose, the cost ended up being about $1,300. For RAM, I'm going with this 32GB DDR5 kit from Adata. This is actually the perfect opportunity to use this limited edition kit they sent me, since the Fractal Terra doesn't have any tempered glass side panels, so there's no point in choosing RGB RAM. I've never used a motherboard with an SSD slot in the back before, but I'm choosing to put my boot drive there because it'll be much easier to add a second SSD to the front slot than it is to add it to the back slot later. And for the SSD, I'm using a 1TB PCIe Gen 4 SSD from Adata. As always, all the parts will be linked down below, and I do believe this SSD was only $50 on Amazon. The CPU cooler I chose is the Noctua NH-L9i, which actually is not great for the 13600K, unfortunately. The fan is only 92mm, making it a great fit for this case space-wise, but in terms of CPU compatibility, this is not recommended. All right, guys, we've got everything installed into the motherboard. Look at this cute little thing. I love it. It feels very dense because it's so small. But look at that low profile cooler. I think we could have gone with a bigger cooler. So because I chose such a small GPU for this, it actually leaves a lot of space on the CPU side for CPU cooling. So I could have totally gone with a bigger air cooler or even added in a 120 millimeter AIO. Anyways, for the power supply, I'm going with my trusty dusty Lianli SP750. Whenever I have a build that needs a small form factor PSU, I always get that one. Now for the GPU, I'm using the MSI 4060 Ti that they sent me recently. I feel like I'm gonna get hate for this, but I thought this was the perfect card to demonstrate the size restrictions of this case. This particular dual fan card is exactly 199 millimeters long, which leaves you with just enough space for a 120 millimeter AIO, which I will be demonstrating with a 120 millimeter case fan. Now all there's left to do is screw in the GPU and then plug everything in. This Fractal Terra case comes with a PCIe Gen 4 riser cable to connect your GPU to your motherboard. It also only has a USB-A and USB-C connector on the front panel, which makes connecting all those front panel connectors super easy since there's only three. Luckily, the cables for the Lianli SP750 aren't very long, so there isn't too much to manage either. And we're done! Here I am turning it on for the first time. Excuse my dogs playing in the background. They're very excited to see this PC turn on, clearly. I love this case so much. I think it would be perfect for a media PC, either in your living room or just as your main PC, especially if you're someone that loves that cozy aesthetic. I love the way this setup looks. I got a mouse pad from Dusker that seems to match the color perfectly, and I even broke out my Noctua keycaps. No setup is complete without the perfect wallpaper from Wallpaper Engine, so here's me scrolling through a couple of them that I thought fit the vibe of this setup perfectly. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. Even though you can't see into this PC, I still think it's one of the most aesthetic PC builds I've done just because the case is so cute. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll see you next time.